All right, guys, we got to talk about these NFL MVP odds because I'm looking at them today and I just don't understand why certain players are in certain positions. Makes no sense to me. Uh, but let's just get into it. Let's take a look at these odds. Okay, so right now you got Dak Prescott up at the top, tied with Brock Purdy. You got Lamar Jackson at number three, Jalen Hurts at number four, Patrick Mahomes five, Tua six, Tyreek seven. Josh Allen, 8, McCaffrey, 9, and C.J. Stroud all the way down at 10. Now, before I get into the numbers, let's just, like, talk about this with our eyes real quick. Um, you know, I can understand Dak and, and Brock being up there. Um, Lamar Jackson, just going off the eye test, deserves to be up there. He's, you know tied right now for the best uh, record in the AFC. Uh, Jalen Hurts, I, I can understand again being up there. Again, we're going eye test right now, not not going off the numbers yet. Patrick Mahomes, how's Patrick Mahomes way up there? I mean, the dude is lost four games this year. This, this is not a normal Chiefs performance. They're underperforming from what they have the previous years. So how is he still up at number five? I mean, we know he can be better than this. Um, the combo of Tua and Tyreek at six and seven. I mean, no, you got to pick one, man. Pick one. You can't have both of them right there. Tua doesn't need to be on this list. Tyreek is making that team. Take Tua off of the, He doesn't deserve to be at six. Josh Allen, really? The team is six and six. We know that that team has been better previously. Why is Josh Allen up here? Okay. Christian McCaffrey, kind of the same thing with, as I said, with Brock Purdy. You got Brock Purdy up there. He's, he's, he's the front runner on that team for MVP. He doesn't need to be at number nine. And then C.J. Stroud. How the hell is C.J. Stroud all the way down at number 10? I mean, we're going to get into the numbers here, but just eye test. We all know the Texans team was dog shit over the last couple of years. How is C.J. Stroud all the way down at number 10? So those are just real quick eye test things of what's wrong with this list. Uh, but now let's get into the actual numbers of what is going on here. First off, if you didn't know, MVP stands for most valuable player. Okay, so value. What What is value? It is a player bringing extra value to a team that equivalates to wins, right? That's what value is. All right, so let's look at last year's record with some of these MVP candidates versus this year's record. We'll start off at the very top, the Houston Texans. 3-13-1 last year. And the year before, they were dog shit as well. And let's look at their record this year, 7-5. and five. He's already got, uh, CJ Stroud's already got them to four more wins in, in, just, uh, in just 12 games. I mean, just going off of that alone, you're going to have a hard time selling me that anyone's been more valuable than C.J. Stroud this year. If he gets in to the playoffs, what he's done with this team in one season to turn them completely around, I'm sorry, there's nothing that's been more valuable this year. Now, there are some other players I will entertain but if if Stroud gets them in, I mean, look just just looking at these records alone of what he's been able to do, there's no comparison. But let's look at the Cowboys with Dak Prescott. They were 12 and five last year. They're nine and three this year. Looks like they're on pace to go somewhat of the same record. Um, as far as comparing them to the Texans goes, that team is way more talented than the Houston Texans team. Um, and so when I talk about value, I mean, Dak Prescott, is he, if he was off the team, could the, te uh, could the Cowboys still be as successful as they are? No, they'd, they drop off a little bit if they just got some Joe Schmuck, Schmuck in there. But I mean, that team is very talented around them. I don't think they fall off much. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, we already went over that in the previous screenshot. They've already lost more games than they than they lost last year. Why is Patrick Mahomes on this list right now? I just don't understand. It, it, the, the amount of love that he's getting when he's having a down year to still be top five of the MVP race is ridiculous. 
Um, looking at the Dolphins, they were nine and eight last year. They're nine and three this year. They've already won the same amount of games. So this is where I have a challenger for CJ Stroud. I think what Tyreek is doing this year is is amazing. They've already got the same amount of wins. They're currently the number one seed in the AFC. I could see Tyreek Hill winning this thing, especially if he gets to 2,000 yards. He's definitely got a legitimate, um, you know, case to be made right there. Um, Eagles, 14 and three versus 10 and two this year. They're, they've almost got the same amount of losses already. Uh, you know, again, Eagles are probably the most talented roster in all of the NFL. So if Jalen Hurts isn't on that team. Yes, they drop off, of course, but they still got a legit, le legitimate shot of making the NFL playoffs. Um, even without Jalen Hurts, I don't see him being a top candidate this year. I mean, I just his numbers are not are not crazy, and the team is having virtually the same success as last year. To me, he's not a, a MVP candidate this year. Lastly, Baltimore Ravens. I'm not going over the Bills because like. Josh Allen six and six. Like, what are we even talking about with Josh Allen? And I already eliminated a couple of the other guys just off the eye test, like McCaffrey. So um, I'm just going to be, you know, looking at. Uh, now I didn't eliminate Brock Purdy. I don't have their record up here, um, but what Brock Purdy's doing, I think he deserves to be a legitimate candidate, even though their record's somewhere around the same as it was last year as well. Um, but I'll get more into why on the next graphic. Um, but with the Baltimore Ravens, 10 and seven last year, nine and three, they're actually playing quite a bit better than they were last year, or at least they're on pace to. So I think um, before diving into the numbers of the quarterbacks, I think Lamar Jackson has a legitimate case based off record to be in the MVP conversation based off what last year happened. I, it, we saw with him being injured last year, and now we're seeing how much better the team is with him on. Um, so I think, you know, looking at record, he's got a legitimate case. Now let's get into the actual numbers of the quarterbacks. Okay, so this is the quarterback's passing yards numbers in the left column, and then the numbers written in red are their touchdown to interception ratio. Now I'm also going to go ahead and say Dak Prescott is leading in touchdowns with 26. Um, so you guys have that number as well. Lamar Jackson is the lowest guy on the touchdown list. He's at like 13. So uh, let's just get into it. I mean, C.J. Stroud leading the league in passing yards. Um, Tua is in third. Dak fifth. Brock seventh. Patrick eighth. Um, and then, you know, just go down from there. But, um, you know, C.J. Stroud, passing yards aren't everything. But to be leading the league in passing yards through this many weeks um, as a rookie is absolutely amazing, especially considering if you look back at the beginning of the year, uh, the Texans' receiving core was literally ranked last in the NFL. So what C.J. Stroud is doing with them, super impressive. And you look at touchdown to interception ratio, he's second in that category with four only behind Dak Prescott at 4.33. Brock Purdy's at third with a 3.83. Um, I look at Patrick Mahomes. I, I've told you I don't understand why he's on this list, not only with record, but look, he's at 2.2 touchdown interception ratio this year. Why is Patrick Mahomes top five in the MVP conversation? I don't understand it. Jalen Hurts is down even worse at 1.9. Lamar Jackson at 2.6, and he doesn't have many touchdowns. He's at 13. I think that eliminates quite a bit of them. So my top four MVP candidates are as follows. Right now, I got it Tyreek at number one. Um, I've got C.J. Stroud at number two. I've got Dak Prescott currently at number three um, with you know the best touchdown to interception ratio and leading the league in touchdowns. And then I've got Brock Purdy at number four. Um, now, if like I said, if C.J. Stroud gets into the playoffs for sure, I think he's your MVP um, just based off of win replacement alone. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. Who's your MVP?